Hi everybody, welcome to our virtual strip club. Woo! Oh, wait, here, wait. wait. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Session three. That's as best I'm gonna get with taking anything off. That's Sorry. as far we're going. Yes, yeah, so we are on, like Jennifer said, session three of our one fish, two fish. Strip club. Strip club. And sorry, it's backwards today, but we're just going to deal with it. So, but anyway, that's the pattern. And you can also see behind us, we have the throw size. Throw size, All yep. put together just for you. Just five fish. Five fish. If you get a little overwhelmed at the <laughs> at the uh, 18 that you need for the twin. Yep, you can start and just make a little five fisher. We'll be like Jenny Dome. See? Here we go. We have so we have options. Yes. So, no, notice, though, on this one, the, the fish are all exactly the same. Yep. And we tried to change that up yep. by using CAFE right. on the twin. So if you do this, you can do your fish different. You just need more a variety of strips. Right, um, maybe fat quarters. Yeah, so you know you won't need the full strip, so you could do something different. Or make two. Right, and mix so, them up. Yep. So you just want a few more strips to add some more Pretty color. Pretty good size for a baby fish. quilt. Yeah, it's if adorable you, uh, for a baby quilt. Mm -hmm. If, yep. if you care, if, if their theme yeah. is going to be fish or right. outdoors. So, yeah. So, if, yeah, if you don't want all your fish the same, mix it up with a few more stripes and or strips. Look, too, mm -hmm. as I did on mine, fish swim in a school yep. and you can have them going in different directions. That's yes. pretty cool. I, I so. had a couple rows of mine are going in different yes. directions. Exactly. Well, there's always one fish. Oh, that's, hey, there's always one of up, us that's upstream. a little different. So, that's, yeah. That might so. be me. Uh, <laughs> so, all right. So, Jennifer's going to walk us through what right, we have Right, we're just finishing here. up. I'm just going to so. give you a few hints and um, things to go on to, so you can finish up your blocks. Yep. And then putting it together is fairly simple. Directions are pretty explanatory. Um, mm -hmm. And I'll show you what I have finished. I couldn't finish mine because I have to keep couple pieces out for you for demo but and bear with the filming today too we're trying something a little different and my handy dandy design yeah, board so if you haven't go back uh -huh. to one of our um old things we presented yep. and it's a design board um this is leftover batting anyway here's the block you're making today the final block your today you have your strips cut and you're going to be putting your two and a half inch strip background two of them to the tubed fin that you that you had you cut yep. so now we're going to be i'll show you exactly how to put this together and i don't know if you can see it's exactly two pieces okay so you have, the, have to the body come a little closer there so we can see okay. sorry again like i said my filming you have the body mm -hmm. and then the fin part and then it's going to get put right together in the middle these two are part of the sashing Perfect. okay let me show you those segments Okay, design board or boobs, whichever you. <laughs> okay, here is the the piece you you cut out. It's the body of the fish, the head of the fish, whatever you want to call it. There you go. And today you're going to be sewing the three pieces. So I left them apart. Not that it was tricky, but this visual will help you get things a little smoother. Knowing that the fin pattern is going to be closest to the body you're going to be adding your triangle pieces okay the first one goes on I don't know if you can see my stitching but you're going to be come to the corner and it ends where the dog tail is leave that on there until you're all done okay so you're going to sew along that line flip it back and iron okay notice that this pleat and this pleat are going in the same direction that's a good thing. Okay, we're going to be adding this one. And as I said, pleats are going forward, so you know this thing is going to be going forward. All right, just to double check. Yep, there it goes. You're going to be bringing it up to the dog-eared corner, coming back to your side seam. You should have just a little bit hanging off the edge. And if I fold it back just to double check, yes, that's, what, that's the effect I want. Okay, I have that. Okay, so you can see there's the body head of the fish and we're going to be adding the body to it there it is that piece we sewed on this piece we sewed on this was part of your tube okay now you're merely going to fold it over line up your points carefully do not pull ladies remember this is now all cut on the bias okay you stitch all the way along 
those two pieces. I know it's a little bit hand handy right here. So. Stan stitching all along your edge, your, your one quarter inch. When you open it up, that's what your fish will look like. Okay. And again, back to the final block. There we go. That's the body. That was the fin. The pleats going in the same direction. You're sewing down the middle and then I've added my sashing. So I'm beautiful. ready to go for the last couple blocks. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, and then I'm gonna... All right, so again, bear with the camera here, so... Okay, I did a medium blue grunge background. I recommend a medium, mm -hmm. not too light. You want your fish to pop, but you also want water, looking yep. water. Yep. And the ocean is not really dark if you've no. been swimming in it. So anyway, there's there is that. You can see here's the corner setting pieces, mm -hmm. your sashing, and there you are. All right. You're just going to be sewing that up, so ladies. Let's hold not... this up so we can see where we're at. Uh, kind of, sort of. Kind of, sort of. Kind of, sort of. Our fish are coming across like this, and the rows. If you notice, Jennifer added them. Yep. Yep. Uh huh. And then this, the border pieces or the background pieces are in between. Yep. So your rows, yep, went this way, correct? Yep. yep. And so yep. now I'm ready to put the last two pieces in. It's a final rows. Mm -hmm. um, actually, it's over by you, Molly. Yep. And then I'm going to put my borders on, and that's Beautiful. easy peasy. You don't need any help easy with that. Easy peasy borders. All we're here to do is to give you some hints and uh, tips, yeah. make it go faster and easier. Yep. It's a fun quilt. And we want to show you because our strip club is going to continue. So um, next, next, oh. yeah, Here, then, drum roll or something. Yeah, drum roll. But next up, we are going to do, do. butterfly blooms. And I think this yep. plastic is always crazy on here. Again, it's going to be backwards. So sorry, but you'll get a good picture. I don't know if you want to mark your camera. It over is. And yeah, if you bear with us here, I'll take you to one that's on the wall here in just a second but butterfly this is blooms, butterfly ladies. blooms this is what's coming up for our next strip club um it'll be a couple weeks but you'll get a notification when that one posts to our facebook and youtube as well so right. but let me walk you over here quickly and i'll show you a quilt so you're going going on a little tour of the store <laughs> so Another jelly roll. Yeah. using all 42 strips on all that right. next one so here is the sample we have in the store of butterfly blooms. So it's gorgeous. There's some, if you can't see it, there's your butterfly with your yep. wings. Yep. Anyway, you're going to uh, brightly colored background does not have to be black, but it sure does give it a nice accent. Exactly. So, all right. So here that's we, next. Thank you for tuning in. We will see you guys soon and we will post this as soon as we We're can. ready to do the next strip club, so okay, that'll be butterfly blooms. So we finished up today. Then one yes. fish, two one fish, two fish. You should for the strip be club. Good. Any questions? Let us know. So I'll be okay. glad to answer what I can. Sorry. All right, you guys have, have a, great a great day. day. Bye.